Our founding fathers intended for Congress to collaborate and find common ground. Those are functions of our system. They're not a side effect. It is easy to imagine if every founder had demanded to get everything they wanted and nothing else, well, then we would have had a king. And we may not have had the system of cooperative federalism that we do today. And if enough of them believe that doing nothing is better than getting 80 or 90 percent of what they wanted, or then our more perfect union would never have gotten started and had a chance to become that. The inability to meet in the middle is not an excuse for inaction, especially when it comes to addressing not just the pressing needs of the American people here at home, but also protecting our standing as a country on the world stage. We understand how important infrastructure is, but so does China. So does Russia. So do all of our adversaries who would like to see us continue to fall behind. The Chinese Communist Party would love to see America's roads and bridges crumble. They would be happy to let infrastructure get in the way of American production and allow for them to meet the needs of the global economy in our absence. The bill that we have before us gives us an opportunity to help stop that from happening, Madam President.